Mylan Santero and welcome to or welcome back to my series Tree of Tarot Leaf by Leaf. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the Chariot card. As with my other videos in this series I have eight examples to show you. We have the Hanson Roberts Tarot, the Druid Craft Tarot, the Fairy Tarot, Star Child Tarot, Shadowscapes Tarot, Oak Ash and Thorn, Darkness of Light, and the Crow Tarot. So what are some things that you automatically think of when you see the Chariot card? Victory, triumph, mastery over a skill, potentially ego. I tend to think of, you know, journey, movement, perseverance, strong will, sustaining an effort. Driving this chariot with these two horses requires that ability to sustain them, that control over the situation, right? Nothing standing in your way, total and utter control, mastery over external forces. Opposition is met with courage. It's a very um, valiant card, in my opinion. Healthy ego, strong and assured, assertive and proactive, focusing on power and initiative. So earlier tarot cards, or excuse me, tarot decks, the chariot was viewed as the chariot of war and the card was viewed as a journey. And I love many of these depictions that we have shown here but we do have a couple of favorites. I really do just love this um, Star Child one and the Darkness of Light along with the Shadowscapes up here. Just some of my favorites. So here we go. Let's get started with the Hanson Roberts. So we do have the Black and White Sphinxes, right? Which is, you know, more of a... Um, good and evil, showing the um, contradictions and dualities of our lives. He is completely armored, riding in this chariot. I do love how we have this like banner of stars above his head. That's quite interesting. It's kingdom in the background, as if he has, you know, something to protect. Just very classic. Out of all these ones, this is probably the most traditional. Next we have the Druid Craft. I love this depiction. I think she is fierce. Ah, oh, so, you know, again, we have, you know, the black and white. Um, we have horses here. She is actually in a chariot. She looks like she's moving. I think that's one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate it when they're in the chariot and it's like, where are you going? Nowhere. You're stationary. I love the movement in some of these cars. So this is perfect for me. So she has the control of the opposing horses, the black and white horses that we see here. And then also she just looks so, so confident. So it really makes you feel like she's um, successful in her life and the amount of time that she has taken to master being able to control these two horses. And I think that just really shows a lot of maturity and wisdom. I just, I love it so much. I love the horses too. They're gorgeous. All right, next we have the chariot from the fairy tarot, excuse me. So this is a really fun one because let's just look at her face. I mean, like she's having a grand time, which I think is totally priceless. Um, at the bottom of the card, it says success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. So the first thing that stands out to me is that she's driving to dragonflies and dragonflies are fast and they have quick, quick actions and uh, maneuver. The way that they maneuver around is so fast. And I really think that that shows that she has, you know, really mastered a skill here. And it looks like she's having a fantastic time driving this chariot with these dragonflies, even though I know this 
may sound silly, but if I was a fairy, I really think that um, driving a dragonfly driven chariot is one of the last things on my list of to do. And she just looks like she's having so much fun. And I love that this card is more um, celebrate your accomplishments. So happy. She's just really enjoying herself. And I really love that. Next, we have the star child, which I just think is, oh, so lovely. I mean, I don't, I rarely buy a deck for one card, but this, gosh, you know, I loved this card for so long before I finally gave in to buying this deck and, oh gosh, I just, I love it so much. I'm sorry. Okay, so this horse running free like this just gives me that feeling of freedom, no limitations, just wild abandon and i love that but think about the inner strength and confidence that this horse must have to embark on this journey the stamina that may only last so long are they going to you know use it to their advantage choose the right path oh i just think it's really um that like inner peace and inner control to be able to Go on a journey alone. So beautiful. The light of the full moon is just divine. Okay, so the next we have the Shadowscapes Tarot. This is quite lovely. I'm gonna bring it in close in just a second, but I just think it's so gorgeous. I love how there's this like water unicorn that's completely, you know, make believe made up, but I love it. So we have this, I want to call her like a water goddess. She's completely armored. It seems like she has summoned these water unicorns to, you know, pull her chariot, but then the water looks like it is at her control as well. I do love that we see the little sea turtles and the crab down at the bottom. Just so detailed and so gorgeous. I just, I love the concept of it and her control over the unicorns, the element of the sea. It's just so beautiful. And then even though there is that um, determination, she still looks so serene. Just beautiful card with the colors. Sorry if I can hold it real still. Face is gorgeous. Ah, just totally one of my favorites. I love this like make believe water unicorn. It's really beautiful. And then next we have the oak, ash, and thorn tarot. This is sort of an you know an interesting depiction we have a magpie with a snail super sweet and do love the dark background with all the stars and I just feel like when you see a snail you definitely think of um, determination <laughs> because they're so slow going but then with the magpie with the snail, you know, is the magpie going to help the snail on a journey? That's how I feel when I look at this card. And between the two of them, there really must be a strong sense of direction. They know where they're going, but they're going to get there together and play off each other's strengths. And even though um, a classic reference to the chariot may be ego. For this, I really like just strong-willed, and I love this partnership of the two. I think it's so sweet. And next we have the Darkness of Light Tarot. This is stunning. She is, oh, she's so amazing. You know, major warrior princess vibes with the bow and arrow. Uh, we do have the two moons above her as if she is the center moon, so we do have that triple moon there and gosh she just really looks embodies victory and perseverance i love how she has both hands using you know the bow and the arrow which is beautiful as she rides this horse with no reins so there's a partnership there that's just oh 
I really love it. She's got the power and the speed of the horse. We do have the power that the bow and the arrow represents as well. On this field, kind of, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the grasses there. It's just so gorgeous. I love how it's a single horse and that she's riding the horse. It's not necessarily that she's physically in a chariot. It's still just a really, really gorgeous depiction. Super furious. And then we have the Crow Tarot. So this is really gorgeous. I do love the feeling of the storm here. We have the crescent moon. This crow is definitely in movement in mid-flight. And really this one just gives me the feeling of that willpower, that um, strong will and how it's braving flying above the storm and the obstacles. It seems like there is a, you know, uh, a positivity there within the crow because they want to exceed, um, excuse me, succeed so bad. And then we do have this kind of laurel, what would be like a laurel wreath or almost like a laurel crown in a sense of victory. And that crow has relied on, you know, their inner strength to get through the storm. Just uh, again with the the single crow as we just saw with the single horse. I do love that like inner power, inner strength. It's really beautiful. So there you have it. Eight wonderful depictions of the chariot card. And I would love to hear in the comments below a, um, excuse me, your favorite chariot card and what deck it comes from, maybe why it's your favorite. And just thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.